Franklin. Franklin's Christmas gift. Whoa, I wish it could be Christmas green quick because I can get a lot of presents. Yeah. That's my favorite. On holiday, so my favorite holiday is Christmas. Yeah, my, my only favorite holiday is Christmas. I love it because that does give me presents. <coughs> Can you start the story, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Should I start the story? Yes. yes. Franklin loved Christmas, just like you guys. Yeah. Yeah. We mm. love Christmas too. Not so mine. So. So. Baby Moosey loved Christmas. Here's Baby Moosey. Okay. So I should I read the story? Yes. Franklin loved Christmas. He could name all of Santa's reindeer. He could tie ribbons into bows and play Silent Night on his recorder. That's this instrument. Oh. Franklin liked to give presents and to receive them. But this year, he couldn't decide what to give to the Christmas toy drive. Every December, the students in Mr. Owl's class donated toys for needy families. The toys could be new or carefully used. When Mr. Owl put out the collection box, everyone was excited. They had three days to choose the perfect gifts to give. So these the toys are going to go to families who don't get toys. And does he have to think of ideas? What can they give away to those, to those children? That evening, Franklin dug through his toys. He picked up a shiny red car. I remember this, he said, wheeling it around. Vroom! Next, Franklin pulled out a stuffed elephant and held her tight. I wondered where you'd gone, he cried. That means he thought he lost it. He has not seen these toys in a long time. Then Franklin found his best green marble. It had been missing for weeks. Fantastic, he shouted. Franklin loved his marbles. He had won every marble in his collection and each one was beautiful. Franklin picked through the rest of the toys. He decided to keep everything but a rusty truck with a missing wheel. So he's looking through all his old toys and what he can give away. Franklin asked his father to help him fix the truck. We can try, said his father, but it won't look new or even gently used. It's all I have. Everything else I have is too special to give away. I would like you to think about that, said Franklin's father. Christmas is a time to be generous. The next day of school, Franklin asked his friends what they were doing. Eva was donating her big books of questions and answers. I already know all the answers, she boasted. I'm giving a puzzle, said Bear. I only did it once. And Franklin frowned. I'm giving a truck. I think we have two days left to decide. But Franklin was too busy to think about the toy drive. He played the recorder at the school concert, made a card from Mr. Owl, and wrote a holiday story. I'll pick a toy after school, he promised himself. When Franklin got home, there was a gift for him under the tree. It was from Great Aunt Harriet. Franklin was so excited that he forgot all about choosing a gift for the toy drive. Franklin squeezed the present and shook it. No peeking, laughed his mother. Do you know what it is? asked Franklin eagerly. It must be something special, his mother smiled. Great Aunt Harriet always gives presents that mean something to you and to her. Like last year, said Franklin. Great Aunt Harriet knew that he loved to put on plays and she gave him two puppets that had been hers when she was little. It was one of Franklin's best presents ever. The next day at school, the collection box was brimming. It was full of toys. You've all been very generous, said Mr. Owl. Do you know that your gift might be the only one present somebody receives this holiday? Franklin gulped. He never thought of that. He had to bring a present tomorrow. Franklin raced home after school and looked through the toys again. Somebody else might love Elephant, but 
She was so worn out from so much hugging. And Franklin wasn't sure that the red car went fast enough. Franklin was upset. At first, all of his toys had seemed too special to give away. Now nothing seemed special enough. Franklin played with his puppets and thought about how Great Aunt Harriet chose her gifts. The best, best presents are special to give and to receive, he whispered. Then Franklin saw his marble collection and knew that the marbles were special enough for the toy drive. Franklin polished them and put them into a soft purple bag. He wrapped the present and made a gift tag that read, These are lucky marbles. Merry Christmas. The next morning, Franklin put his present on top of the collection box. Then Franklin and his friends hauled the book box to the big tree at the town hall. They placed each present under the tree. Franklin knew he would miss his marbles, his marble collection. Still, he didn't feel sad at all. Instead, he felt good all over. On Christmas Eve, Great Aunt Harriet came to visit and Franklin was allowed to open his present. He ripped off the paper. It's perfect, said Franklin. Thank you. Great Aunt Harriet beamed. She just smiled. She, made, she had made a stage for Franklin's puppet show. Now open yours, Franklin insisted. And Great Aunt Harriet unwrapped her gift slowly and carefully. Inside was a play written by Franklin and dedicated to her. He wrote a story for her. Oh, see. This is my best Christmas present ever, said Great Aunt Harriet. And Franklin got that good all over feeling one more time. Oh, a snowman. You see how he has these great feelings for giving away some presents, special presents to people? Yeah. But mommy, you might lost your voice. 